In this next video, I want to use two images, so I'm going to open them both at once. I know they're in this folder here. There's the crab, and there's the sand. Now, instead of just clicking on sand, I'm going to hold the control key when I select it. So I've now got sand and the crab both selected and I'll open them. You can see there they've both opened for me. I can tear this off the menu bar and the same for this one and I can just put them side by side. Now the easiest way to select this crab is to select using the magic wand tool. Instead of selecting the crab and having to worry about the tolerance. If I select the outside, the white, now you can see here that this area in here has not been selected, that area, that white area there. And that's because this contiguous box is ticked. Now I'm going to select it again and you can see there that now, I'll just zoom in a little bit for you, and now you can see that it has selected that for us. Okay, now, I don't actually want to select the white area, I want to select everything else, that's the crab. So if I go to select the inverse, I've now selected just the crab. Using this move tool, I can drag it across and pop it on the sand. And there, you can see in the middle of his pincer, you can see why we wanted to have that non-contiguous. I'll just zoom back out. Okay, I'm finished with the crab now. I'll close that and I don't need to save it. So here's our crab. I'll make him a little bit bigger. I'll hold down the shift key when I do that so it stays in proportion. And now I don't want to, I don't want to see any of the detail of this crab. So under the image adjustments, I'll go to hue and saturation and I'll take away all the color information and all the lightness. So now I've just got an outline of that crab. Okay. I'm now going to go to select and I'm going to select the colour range and I've got an eyedropper tool and I'm going to select the black and click OK. Now actually I don't want the black, I want again the inverse. So now I've selected everything else. This background layer here, I want to use this crab on the background layer but the easiest way to do that is to duplicate this background layer and now hide that background. If I hide this as well, you can see the outline of the crab on this background. And you'll remember we didn't select the crab, we selected everything else. So now if I hit the delete key, I'm left with just the crab outline on that background. I'll deselect that layer and there it is there on that background. Now to save it I'm going to go to layer and flatten this image. Now before I select flatten the image you'll notice that this layer's not showing and this layer's not showing. When I flatten the image, it's asking me do I want to discard all the information from the hidden layers? The answer is yes, and there's my crab on that background.